traders welcome to a youtube video and in this video we're going to talk about how to trade ranges following the price action rules because if you're going to follow the price action rules you're going to stay on the right side of the market and you're not going to give in to your mental demons they are trying to play tricks on you while you are trading trading ranges you guys can see i have this 21 bar ema exponential moving average this is the indicator that you want to plot in on your chart and it's going to have a specific use within a trading range. This is just a supportive indicator. We are mainly relying on the candlesticks on the chart. So the first thing you want to see and do when you're trading in trading ranges, you want to mark and identify the highs for the day or the lows for the day. These are your key levels and price will most often than not pay attention to these key levels and price will react around these key levels. So when I see that the day is starting to look like a trading range, the most of touches I get is when I use this key level right here. I could use a key level right here and put it at the very top, but there's a little bit of a room and that doesn't feel great. I wanna use as many touches as I have. And remember, this is just a zone. This is not a, like one thin line. You just keep it in mind that there is some resistance right here. So I'm just gonna copy it. I'm gonna put it at the bottom. And the best thing is to put it right here where I have a double confirmation. Right off the get go, I can see that this is a healthy trading range there is no imbalance what does it mean that this is a healthy trading range price goes from the one extreme to the other and from the uh, top to the bottom from the bottom to the top this means that this is a healthy trading range and this is no imbalance is present here because all the extremes are being nicely met and fulfilled all right during these trading ranges you want to draw the shortened trend lines they are your best and only reliable tool you're going to have. So you're going to draw the shortened trend lines because you want to follow the trend line rule, which says after price will break the trend line, traders will attempt to create a new extreme. So as I see price working higher and working lower, this is a healthy trading range. If you need to plot those, uh, plot the new high and new low text on the chart to help you identify where you have a new low or where you have a new extreme so i can see that i have a trend line working here i have a break i have a new extreme form so somebody just going to copy it put it at the top and i can identify that this is a new extreme and i expect from this point on i expect correction or straight up reversal i have a break i have a new extreme so what do i expect i'm going going to mark new low and i expect correction or straight up reversal and this is where the ema comes in handy because once price pushes strongly above the ema and I have two felt attempts in the previous trends direction. This is going to be a reversal pattern. So use these if you need to see the mark clearly. I have an uptrend working higher. I have a break and I have a new extreme. So I'm just going to copy it, put it at the top. And once again, what do I expect? I expect correction or straight up reversal. While you're drawing these trend lines, you need to resist the urge to draw these trend lines wider. You don't want to be doing something like this. This is not even that bad, but you don't know, you don't want to be doing something like this. This is not how trading range operates. You don't want to be doing something like this. Most often than not, and trading is about probability, your best bet is to stick with the tighter, steeper trend line. So you can clearly see the breaks and new low, and you guys can see how it really works in ranges because price will just react off of these key levels and you need to stay on the right side of the market. So this is still the pre-market open area and market is about to open very soon market actually opened somewhere around this point right here so as the market is pushing down from this resistance the according to rules you expect for price to reach from the here all the way down here but now you need to catch a safe and good entry and you guys can see you have a big bearish move down you're pushing below ema which confirms the bearish momentum and now when you're going to sell you're going to sell when you see a two felt attempts in the previous trends direction the previous trend was bullish this was the last bullish move that retested resistance and once it pushed below any bullish move up is going to be a trap you push below ema and you're coming from one side to the other so in, since i know that any move is going to be a trap i'm looking for a high probability setup and high probability setup is going to be a second entry because a tool like a pullback a second entry that's how market moves it's tied down to human psychology when humans try to do something once they don't, they don't just quit, they try to do it again. And after they do it twice and fail, that's when they give up. You guys can see there's the new extreme form, price push below EMA, and there's a first attempt to go long above this bullish bar. It 
ticked all the orders and instantly reversed on them and sold off. So this was the first attempt to buy that failed. There's another bar that we ticked above. So new entry is formed. It's the second attempt to go long. But you don't want to go long after bearish move down while you're heading down here and while you're below this EMA. And this is the second entry short long that failed and reversed it off the exponential moving average. This is a high probability setup. This is the failed second entry long in the di direction of a downtrend and you're heading all the way down to these lows. And once again, I can draw the trend line either super tight like this. This is how I had it real time or you can draw it like this. This is still very tight and this is still OK. You all you need to think about that don't draw them too wide and you expect for price to go all the way down here. So this is the first high probability setup. You expect the reversal pattern is your go to setup in trading ranges after price has a break and in your extreme i created multiple videos on reversal patterns price is pushing lower and once you see this big move down your brain is telling you and pushing signals uh, into your brain that you need to be selling take a look at this downtrend you don't want to miss out you don't want to be buying such a strong downtrend that's the common sense that you use in real life and it make you probably um a lot of good decisions in real life but in trading you have to get rid of it in trading you have to use uh, the price action sense the trading sense you have to throw common sense out of the window because during trading ranges you have to understand that most breakouts will fail there is going to be a one breakout that will eventually work but most breakouts of trading ranges will fail at least temporarily all right you never want to buy the breakout in its breakout phase you always want to wait for the breakout pullback if anything but mostly you want to fade these breakouts. Fading means you want to fade, take the trade in the opposite direction of a breakout. So there's the downtrend working lower. I have a break and I have a new extreme form for the downtrend. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm then going to mark the new low so I know that I can expect correction or straight up reversal. And especially reversal because I'm below the support, I'm below key level and most breakouts will fail. This is now a failed breakout. However, this is a little bit aggressive because you never know how many pushes down you're going to make but here is when it comes really the exponential moving average handy because this is why you have it on your chart the further away you're from exponential moving average especially in trading ranges the higher likelihood there is you're going to pull back so once you see the gap between ema being large and during ranges below the uh, the support during the fell breakout you can expect there's a really high chance the price will pull back at least a little bit. You're not predicting long-term market uh, movement. You're predicting a very short movement. So this could be a decent entry if you know what you're doing, if you're advanced. But here's what gets interesting. There's the new extreme form and there's the first attempt to sell below this bearish bar, pullback higher, second attempt to sell. This is a two-legged pullback. Under normal circumstances, second entry short with the direction of a trend would be a high probability setup. But this is not a trend. This is a range. This downtrend played out with the new low and you're expecting for this breakout to fail and go all the way up to here. This is what you're expecting. There is no imbalance yet. There is no imbalance yet. So it's OK for you to be buying at this point on. You have to suppress the common sense and use the price action rules. There's the first entry short, second entry short failure. You have room to EMA, big bullish bar. This is a higher probability setup. My first attempt for the day, I missed it because it gapped up instantly. But this is how you're focusing on these ranges. You're just fading these breakouts, buying lows and selling highs. So I'm going to do, I'm going to draw the short and trend lines again. I see price pushing above the EMA and pushing back below. So this is confusing because if this is a healthy trading range, the support is going to hold, EMA is going to hold and it's not holding price pushed back below. So you're just sitting on your hands. The downtrend can resume. The breakout eventually can broke to the downside you don't know that you don't have a crystal ball so you're just sitting on your hands but take a look what happens there's the first entry short trigger lower and pushing strong above the ema already a good sign that the bulls are really active from this fell breakout and there is a second entry short second attempt to sell the market below this bar and it ticked everybody in one tick and it instantly reversed high probability pattern similar pattern to this but this is now a reversal pattern because the downtrend played out with the break and a new low. This is not a reversal pattern because reversal pattern has to push above EMA. It, even though it is a felt two attempts, these are two felt attempts in the previous direction, which was bearish. But now you're above the EMA plus you're above the key level that you mark at the beginning of your session. You can see how it's going to come into play. Market kept working higher, kept working higher. And now you're getting into middle of trading range and you want to be careful trading in the middle of trading range unless it is a, re a reversal pattern reversal pattern is the only exception you want to use i was looking at it 
even like this, which is not something what I was supposed to do. I, I, I was supposed to treat it like a major tool like Zap, the up jump played out. So this is how you really want to focus on the move up from this field breakout. And this is where the market opened and this is where it got a little bit undecisive. You don't want to go long below EMA like this and you don't want to go short at the same time because the support is right here and you're going short uh, directly into the support. So even though it is tempting to take a few shorts here, market is undecisive. You're hovering around this key level. Just wait until market gives you a clear direction and market pushed back above the support and give you a first entry short pullback second entry short. This is the same pattern as you have right here. So you're just focusing on the high probability patterns. Two felt attempts in the previous trends direction. You guys can see you have a first move down, pull back, sort of like a second move down, two legs down. Now, this is this is now still part of this overall consolidation. The EMA is still flat. This was not that easy to take in real time. I will mark it because it only looks good in hindsight. But if you take a look at this like this, you're quite, you know, working in a sideways consolidation. This is a micro trading range within the trading range. So this is quite hard to take. So you can take it if you recognize, if you really know what you're doing, I'm going to mark it. But you're still expecting, because it's a healthy trading range, go from this point all the way up to here. So you're going to draw the shortened trend lines so they will keep you on the right side of the market. And you guys can see you're pushing higher. You have a little bit of overshoot which means if you get the setup at the trend line, you're not taking it because market will break the trend line most likely or straight up reverse. However, this is extremely strong uptrend now and you expect following the trend trading range rules for the market to go all the way up to here. And now you're, this is a now a trend and you wanna buy the second entry with the direction of a trend. And you have a new extreme form and you have a first pullback to go long that failed and it's okay because these are not reliable and you have a second entry long where at the key entry point also i have a downtrend a little bit i drew it like this i kind of have a break in new extreme i'm drawing this really tight in this situation because the major trend is up and this is just a correction and for corrections you draw it tight this was my first trade for the day that i took and this was a losing trade you're still expecting a new low, new high to be formed according to trend line rules. Break of a trend line, you expect new high to be formed and you're playing the range rules, you expect new extreme. It ticked, it filled me in, it took one tick higher or a few ticks and it instantly reversed in like two or three seconds and I it cooked me instantly, gone, just like that. So this is my first trade and first losing trade and I have to, but I have to follow the rules. I cannot cherry pick. Even though you can tell there's little nuances, you can tell how far the body is away from EMA there's still a little bit gap. It just doesn't feel right. But a trader cannot cherry pick. I took this trade right here. Once this bar formed, and this is now a legit second entry long, you know that the odds are still high that you're going to make a new extreme. This is where I re-entered. And you're going to see, I even re I even added on right here because this is now a second entry long. And take a look, look what you have. You have a push above EMA. EMA keeps holding price. So the key entry point is holding with the direction of a trend. And this is a higher low. High low is a confirmation with two leg like a pullback. I added on another set, so I was holding 12 contract at this point on. It got quite scary. It was a quick, easy scalp of both positions, and then I took a failed second entry short. All right, so this was a this was a no joke. This was today uh, four trades within like five minutes, even less, because this is the lowest low, and there's a first entry short, pullback, second entry short. But you don't have a new extreme form yet. You're not at the top yet. EMA holds price. You're not thinking about selling. This is a high probability setup. People are going to get trapped going short. And this is very similar to a trade I took live uh, two days ago. Came from the lows. We're heading to the highs. There's a strong uptrend working higher. And this is why I took this trade today. There's a new high. First entry long, pullback. Second entry long. EMA is holding. And there is a high low setup. You guys can see high low. And you're still expecting for price to give you a new extreme. Difference here is that failed second entry short was a big bar that already pushed way too high up and you only can enter probably on the engulfing bar, which you don't want to anyway, but you you now have triple top right here. So you have to be careful, but it is very similar. And this is why I took the trade today. So this was a, but this second entry long was tricky. It instantly cooked me. It is what it is, that's price action. Sometimes they stop you with just one take and this is nothing you can do to avoid. You can feel a little bit nuanced here, but um, 
it's a 50 50 half of the traders will skip this half of the traders will take this so if you took it you follow the rules and nothing wrong so once again what i'm going to do i'm going to copy it i have a break i have a new high which tells me that the uptrend is over i'm at the top of the trading range and what do i expect correction or straight up reversal all right and ema can hold price this is why you have the ema on the chart if price keeps above ema you're not selling we can make additional like up all right and that's important but take a look once again first entry long push below ema indicating bearish momentum same thing right here second entry long failure textbook re repeat pattern of this textbook repeat pattern of this failed second attempt in the previous trends direction you haven't moved too far you're right below ema high probability setup reversal pattern this is how you trade trading ranges you see this big move up and you want to keep buying you you're thinking oh let me take a look there's a little bit of a micro bottom let me just go long on the second entry long right here in a in a pullback no uptrend played out with the break and new extreme and in ranges you go from one extreme to the to another suppress your common sense the market will reward you this is why you have the price action rules in play they shield you from uh using common sense all right now as i can see market is pushing lower i have a break and i have a new low unfortunately on the market way down there is no two-legged pullback there is no setup like this that would allow me to sell that would allow me to sell the two-legged pullback just like i bought two-legged pullback up and these were high probability setup there is no setup that allowed me just bunch of first entries that are working and take a look what you have you have a break and a new low near the support so i'm just gonna do the same thing market put it here i have a new low so i expect correction or straight up reversal i have another leg down oh what is this this is not correction or straight up reversal but sometimes you can get two legs to new extreme that's okay i'm just gonna move the support a little bit lower because it it may have moved the support and resistance can move with more price action it's completely normal and you don't have to uh, get a little bit uh, stressed about it so if if i have a two legs to a new extreme now i for sure expect correction or reversal so i have move up but i have a strong rejection of the ema and already something is different here every single time prior to this after breaking a new low price instantly reversed and there was no rejection of ema here or there was a little bit of rejection of ema here but we instantly read up higher take a look what is here you have a rejection of ema you get a high low setup which is attempting to go long because you have a two legs down you have push higher and you have a high low setup i will mark it as a slightly advanced trade for more advanced traders watching because you have two legs down and the support is holding but take a look you have move up and another rejection of the ema so this is no longer a reversal this is really starting to look like ema is struggling to keep price pushing above so you keep watching you have a triple bottom it's starting to get a little bit wedgy you can start to identify the channel that is working lower and but you don't want to take no long you don't want to take no short into this low and you can see price is pushing higher and you have a triple rejection of ema and this is telling you something if this is a healthier trading range you're going from you're going to go from lows back to the highs this is what you're expecting but it's not happening here it, it seems like there's going there's a little bit of a bullish imbalance because one two three four touches of exponential moving average are preventing from price to go above and this is not what you want to see this is now indicating strong bearish momentum and this is how this is a clue you now start to understand that you may push lower and this is where you know that you don't no longer want to be fading the breakouts so there are clues from the market it will give you so you can understand where it is okay to fade the breakout and when it's not so once you see ema holding like this you're making lower highs lower lows every single time you just let the market go you're not fading the breakout you're pushing below ema you have a just first entry this was a decent entry because this is now a for sure like a fifth or fourth confirmation of this channel and this is a breakout pullback pattern two three key entry points are holding yeah i gotta mark this as a high probability setup because this is a gorgeous signal bar full-on bearish trend line holds ema holds support holds now as a resistance breakout pullback this and you guys can see even during the bearish imbalance phase which is a bearish bias even the breakout still pulled back but you don't want even when the breakout is working you still want to wait for a pullback that's the safest way you trade the breakouts a market push lower and now you're getting a little bit away from the trading ranges so you are switching the rules 
you abandon the trading range and you stick with the trend. So you're looking for second entry shorts like here with the direction of a trend, but you don't get no second entry shorts. You're just sitting on your hand patiently. You have a strong reverse, a strong overshoot. This was such a substantial overshoot. I actually enlarged my channel something like this. I thought this is going to be a two tier, um, two tier channel, but still this was a very oversold. Even though I treat it as a two tier, this was a very oversold category. And something is telling you here that it's not the best thing to uh, keep looking for second entry shorts. This is most likely how, you, how you're going to get trapped. Also, what you can do, you can measure this, you can copy it, put it at the bottom. And we already talked about it in our last lesson. And you can find a two tiered trading range. And you guys can see this is where something, this is where price came into play. It's this is a two tier trading range. So measured moves doesn't on, don't only work for the legs it even works for two tier trading ranges and you're going to draw the short trend line in trends as well because these corrections still need to play out so you have a second entry short off the key entry point however you have the short trend line in play i'm not a big fan of this especially when really looking back this is such a clear channel this was an overshoot an overshoot leads to a break of a trend line or possibly reversal and if you see the measured move you definitely expect a strong bullish momentum working here now EMA gets flat, EMA gets in the middle of those bars, and I don't like any entry. This is no entry area. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bars stacked. You get a lower high here, but a close above. You don't have a new high for this uptrend. You have an overshoot. You're coming from here. Easy to get a trick here. I guarantee some of you probably took a short here, but uh, really risky and dangerous situation to go short here. But take a look what you have. You have a double trap here. You have a new low. First entry short, pull back, second entry short that failed. And it's and also there is a oh, oh it technically probably worked. It managed to reach the scalper's profit, and even this felt second entry short reached the scalper's profit. So technically it didn't fail, but we can treat it as a failure because you traders expect for move to be more substantial. So you have failed second entry short that stopped everybody out who went short, they kept their buy stops right here. And everybody who went long here, it just got trapped, suckered in. So this is a double trap. It's the first break of this downtrend and you're expecting a new extreme to be formed. This is a decent trade. I still, you know, would prefer for you to be patient here. Respect this no trade area. Respect the EMA flat in the middle of those bars. Respect the overshoot. But you can identify what's going on here. It's not a bad entry. You create additional move up. And what I can do, I can measure the overshoot. It's going to copy it. And this leads me a little bit right here. I'm just gonna put it here. Yeah, that's a little bit okay. So I can expect that the overshoot is done. I still expect new extreme to be formed after this break of a downtrend, price action trend line rules. And I have a first entry long, pullback, second entry long, failure. Re the reversal pattern below EMA. I'm expecting new low to be formed. Last trade, my trade for the day, high probability setup. Uh, a market push lower created a double bottom which can be considered close enough to a new extreme so i'm going to market you still can you still are expecting additional leg down but you don't have it you adapt to the market you have not the market you want and you're just pushing strongly higher so you have to once again keep drawing the trend lines i actually even drew the little bit of a trading range because this really looked so much like a, like a range like stru structure you're expecting price to, price to go from one end to the other. Uh, but there's a strong move higher. There's a trend line in present. So you cannot sell the high here because you don't have that. You're not that far from the exponential moving average. And this trend line is intact. Take a look. Every single time you're fading the breakouts, you have a break and a new low or you have a break and a new high. So if the trend line is intact, you're just sitting on your hands patiently. EMA is pointing higher and EMA keeps holding price every single time. There ended up being, after you get more confirmation like this, there ended up being a channel like this. And once this is an uptrend channel, you now use the same rules as you did right here. You're looking for second entry longs because there's a high probability setup. Second entry long at key entry point, you want to go long here. It's a high probability setup. Same thing right here. But you don't get this. I'm going to draw my trend line. I have a first entry long pull back second entry long above bearish doji. If I want to go long, I want to see a bullish 
momentum bar, at least somewhat bullish. Not this indecision ca candle with the bearish body that closed at the level or even slightly below the EMA. It's questionable. It looks like it's at the level. That's not a good entry and reason for me to go long here. And this is once again, double trap. First entry long, second entry long, failure. Everybody who went long got stopped out. They went long too early. They don't, uh, they jumped the gun too quickly. And everybody who felt they trapped everybody going long on a felt second entry long, they got suckered in and they instantly got trapped. So this is a double trap. However, bar is still bad. I still don't like it that much. Only advanced trader can, if you can recognize really well the, the, the double trap, you can take it. And, and then you get a new low and you get a higher low. At this point on, since I already took one, two, three, four, five trades for today, I was done with trading. I didn't want to push my luck and I'm glad that I did because I probably would have taken this higher low and I like it. I'm going to mark it. If you took it, I think you did well because you have a break of this uptrend and you expect a new extreme to be formed. Take a look how strong this uptrend was. It's completely rational to be expecting according to rules to get a new extreme. If I move it to the right side of the chart, yeah, the only thing is that you have five, one, two, three, four, five bars stacked and EMA is getting in the middle of those bars. And that's the problem. That's the, e, that's the congestion that's starting to form here, which congestion is a no trade zone. That's, the, that's what, you, what would have kept you out of this trade, just not overall looking great. But still, you expect new extreme form. EMA looks like it's holding, you know, decent trade, decent trade to take a chance on. A market push lower and here it is where it got really confusing and this is why uh, you want to be done early you don't want to push the luck because you can get stuck into this you, you can give back all what you made so always take your two three winning trades or even one once you start to feel uncomfortable like you're pushing trades you're forcing trades don't gamble take your one winning trade take your two winning trades go home next day stack another two go home it will add up in the future you will realize how profitable you can be if you stop gambling and if, if you, and you stop guessing taking trades that um, not really you, you are sure about so once the market push lower you have a first leg down pull back second leg down okay so i expect a bearish move i don't want to draw a downtrend like this because uh why because the uptrend is so strong this was a stronger uptrend much larger so this is just a correction so after two legged move down market consolidated and you would expect price push above ema but it didn't happen there was additional move down so it this is already it was very confusing for me watching this live because what is this it is, is this a downtrend you're pushing back above the ema but take a look how far away you're now from this uptrend the uptrend rule already played out you're not going to get new extreme after such a long correction you only long corrections are only for big patterns this is not a big pattern this is medium uptrend this is not one one of those strong uptrends so you're not going to get a new extreme after such a pullback like this and you have a new low first entry short pullback second entry short failure all right but like i said all i mentioned is really confusing here you're way too far down you're not sure you can be sure you can even look at this like this and what is valid this indecision you don't know what's valid and it's okay traders sometimes feel like on every single candle you have to know what's going on no it's completely okay to just sit some areas out it's completely normal the, the high probability setups take time to develop and you're going to have to sit here on your hands through some mess so you get a felt second entry short you don't want to take it and then you have a new high first entry long second entry long ema is holding boy oh boy i understand what's this tempting but you have a ema completely flat in the middle of those bars bunch of bars stacked overlapping no killer decision and this is why you have to respect the congestions because they suckered everybody in stop them out and this was a trap on all sides basically they trapped all the shorts all the longs this is why you want to avoid this STEMI area STEMI range this is a micro range but this is a Friday quite late and I don't really recommend uh, trying to trade this because this is just so messy if you compare it with all the clean setups you had why would you try to battle and risk your uh, capital on the battlefield like this and this is now already way too late so I'm rambling too long Hopefully you guys find this useful and conciseful. Uh, I'm gonna wrap it up. Hopefully you guys, uh, hopefully you guys had a good trading day. The ranges are really simple. If you just draw the shortened trend lines, you resist to urge to stick with these trends. You have to fade them, 
and you don't have to fade the breakouts if you're afraid just wait for the reversal pattern first entry long second entry long failure first entry short second entry short failure first entry long second first entry long second entry long failure and you can even get a few good second entry longs it can completely happen you're expecting for price to reach the other side you can take a good second entry long so i'm going to wrap it up and take care buddy